there are various KRAS G12C direct inhibitors and beyond AMG 510. MRTX 849 is another one of these, so a different flavor, if you will. It was explored on a phase one trial that looked at the safety and activity of this drug. And while we've seen fewer lung cancer patients with KRAS G12C mutations, um, we've certainly seen proof of concept that the drug is active. And we've seen responses in three out of five patients um, in the last presentation for an objective response rate of 60%, recognizing we would need to see more patients uh, treated with this drug moving forward. Uh, but certainly it's very exciting. It also shows that this strategy of direct inhibition of a specific mutant KRAS protein uh, works across different molecules um, that uh, target this mutant protein. In terms of uh, the MRTX849 study, um, it's being studied in several clinical trials, uh, including uh, the CRYSTAL-1 trial, which is a phase one, two study uh, with expansion cohorts looking at uh, the direct KRAS G12C inhibitor, MRTX849, stratified by histology, whether colorectal cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, pancreatic adenocarcinoma. And it's also looking at combination studies in certain histologic subsets that may have activity in combination, such as uh, the PD-1 antibody pembrolizumab in non-small cell lung cancer, the EGFR TKI afatinib in non-small cell lung cancer, and cetuximab in colorectal cancer. Um, and so MRTX849 is a covalent G12C inhibitor that binds to the GDP bound state of KRAS. And you know, in this trial, uh, there were some adverse events, but generally it appeared to be well tolerated. Adverse events included mostly grade one toxicities, the most common being diarrhea and nausea. Uh, two patients had grade three or higher toxicities in the initial clinical trial, including fatigue and decreased appetite. But overall, uh, the drug was well tolerated with a low incidence of grade three and four toxicities.